So Dominic, we know that uh, networking is very important. And I always tell my clients, you should start networking even before applying for a job. You need to build those relationships as we talked about before. And most of the time these days are, those relationships are built on LinkedIn because we build a relationship. Now you are here, I'm interviewing you. And I always tell the clients that identify companies that you want to work, as you mentioned earlier on LinkedIn, you know, follow them, engage with them. What other tips they can use or LinkedIn? And I know that now that we're kind of ending COVID and we'll be back in person relationships and events. So how can they have a strategy in terms of networking? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i give a little LinkedIn piece, but then I'm going to go towards like the in-person thing. So I think on, on LinkedIn, it's being specific and starting with a common ground, right? When I, when I talk conversations over applications, we do go out and start reaching out to people. We start scheduling conversations through LinkedIn. And I've had some clients start off and the first thing they do is message a hundred people. And it's like, oh, dang, a hundred people that you didn't really know or weren't in any groups you knew. Mm -hmm. Like go to those circles, family, friends, aunts, uncles, alumni, alumni yeah. friends, friends, right? I've had some people open some crazy doors for me that I didn't even think would open doors. Mm -hmm. I think starting there on LinkedIn and, and navigating your network. And like I said earlier, like being strategic, being investigative on LinkedIn, yeah. using that search bar and really oh, they know them, they know this. Okay, maybe they can make that introduction for me. On LinkedIn is, is my favorite part. So making that ask yeah. and just be specific with it, right? Like, hey, I'm not here for anything else. I was wondering if you could introduce this person to me. Yeah. Um, in terms of taking it offline in person, it's, it's a little bit easier for me. And of course I'm biased because of my job search method that I teach clients, but I've just always been someone that it's like, Hey, let me just find out a little bit more about you. Let me, let me talk to you. Let me shake your hand. Let me make solid eye contact with you. Let me smile. I don't care if you're at the bus stop with me or if you're in line at the grocery store, if you want to have a conversation, I'm there. Yeah. And I think sure a one that can be exhausting at times. And I do understand. And that is hard for a lot of people, but at some point, honestly, it's something you got to practice and you got to get over because you're going to run into it in your jobs and in, in your daily life. And it's yeah. only going to help you grow if you're able to hold a conversation with another human being and and you really need to do that and once you get over that it's like oh you work there and you do this wow that really energizes me yeah. oh you have a friend that does this and that and i think one of the other things is following up right you always run into those people right old friends old alumni oh we should get a beer oh we should talk we should hang out and and maybe it's not that but maybe it's like when you're meeting out some like when you meet someone out and they're like yeah, I do this and X, Y, and Z. And it's like, wow, I'd love to catch up with you. Well, well cool. Make sure you get the contact. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you take those action steps to yeah. follow. And I always tell my client, if you are meeting in person, make sure that you meet three new people. And that's my, uh, at least three new people. And when you're approaching them, ask them questions about themselves, you know, uh, what's your intent from attending this event? What do you want to get? And then, as you said, the follow-up is important because sometimes people forget about it and those are how you're going to build relationships. And as I mentioned earlier, you're not going to ask them jobs directly to talk about themselves because people will talk about themselves when you ask questions. How did you get this job? What is the culture there? What skills do you think I need to get if I want to get in this job, in this company or in this industry? Definitely. Yeah. So again, uh, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking and how you can reach to other people, leave them below. And tune in next time. Another great question, Dominic.